Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again with another math video. And today we're going to talk about properties of real numbers and equality in relation to geometry. So before we proceed to our topic about axioms and postulates and the theorems, so we have to recall some of the properties of real numbers and equality that are helpful in giving the reasons when it comes to proving. So in this video, we're going to recall different properties of real numbers and equality and also apply the different properties in geometry. So let's have our first objective. Recall the different properties of real numbers and equality. For the properties of real numbers, we have here, for any numbers A, B, and C, the first property is the commutative property. So, meron tayo commutative property in addition and also in multiplication. For addition, we have A plus B is equals to B plus A. So, that only means na kapag may value tayo ng A, for example, is 4, then may value tayo ng B, which is, for example, is 5, equal lang po yan sa 5 plus 4. So, that's commutative property. Also, kung multiplication man po yung meron tayo, we have 4 times 5, which is 20, Equal din lang siya sa 5 times 4, which is also 20. Okay? So, commutative property. Another property of real number is the associative property. So, when it comes to associative naman, ito po ay yung may groupings na involved na dito ay 3 real numbers na po. So, when we say associative property, so, the first 2 addends kapag ginroup natin at ini-add sa pang third natin na addends ay equal din lang sa A plus the sum of B plus C or yung ating group ng last 2 addends. So, for example, ang A natin is 4 and then ang B natin ay 5 and then ang C natin ay 3 equal lang siya sa 4 plus the sum of 5 plus 3 so ano ba yung sum ng 4 plus 5 di po ba yan po ay 9 9 plus 3 is 12 same din lang siya dito which is sum muna ni 5 plus 3 which is 8 8 plus 4 is also 12 so equal lang po yan ganun din po yung associative property in multiplication like for example 4 times 5 muna which is 20 multiply by 3 so that's 60 same din lang po siya sa 4 multiply to the product of 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 4 is 60. So, they are equal po. Another is distributive property. So, ito yung medyo gamit na gamit natin nung una at una pa lang. So, when we say distributive property, mamibigay tayo. So, the terms outside the parentheses will be distributed to the terms inside the parentheses. So, in this case, we have to multiply A to the term which is B and then A multiply to C. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng A times B plus A times C. And they are equal. So, for example, meron tayong A which is 4 and then B is 5 and then RC is 3. So, pag in daw natin yan, 8 times 4 is 32, which is also equal din daw sa, pag dinistribute natin, 4 times 5, that's 20, and then 4 times 3, which is 12, so 20 plus 12 is 32, so equal lang sila. That's the properties of real numbers. Again, commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. Okay, so for the properties of equalities, for any real number A, B, C, and D, we have the reflexive property. So when we say reflexive property, any real number is equal to itself. Like for example, we have negative 6, syempre equals siya sa sarili niya, which is negative 6. Another is the symmetric property. So dalawa na po yung involved dito. So there are two terms involved, wherein if A is equals to B, then B is equals to A. Kung natatandaan nyo po sa algebra, wherein if we have X is equals to 3, equivalent din lang siya sa 3 is equals to x. Di po ba? So, that's symmetric property. Next is the transitive property. So, sa transitive property naman po, 3 real numbers are involved. So, we have here, if a is equals to b and b is equals to c, then a is equals to c. So, parang kumbaga, naging bridge po natin yung ating term na b para ma relate si a kay c. So, we have 3 numbers na dito. For example, if 2x is equals to 4y and 4y is equals to 6z, so we can also say that 2x is equals to 6z. So, ganun po yung ating transitive property, okay? Next is addition property. So, ito yung madalas din natin na ginagamit. Addition property of equality. Once na may ini-add tayo sa ating left side na equation, dapat equal nun yung i-add natin sa 
other side of the equation. So here we have if A is equals to B and C is equals to D, then A plus C is equals to B plus D. So meron tayong A and then B. And then ini-add sa kanya yung C at D. So pwede po ba yun? E mag-ibang variable po yung C at D. Yes po, pwede po. Bakit? Kasi sinabi naman dito that C is equals to D. So if we assume that C is equals to 3, mangyayari po niyan, C is equals to D, that means equal din siya sa 3 is equals to 3. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung A is equals to B, pwede rin siyang maging A plus 3 is equals to B plus 3. So, yan yung addition property of equality. So, once na may ini-add tayo sa one side of the equation, same lang din po dapat yung i-add natin dun sa ating other side of the equation. Ganon din po yung subtraction property of equality. So, kung dito ini-add natin, again, if the value of C is equals to 3 and meron tayong rule na C is equals to D, Magkakaroon tayo ng 3 is equals to 3. At pag sinabi yung subtraction property of equality, A minus 3 should be equals to B minus 3. Para maging equal pa rin sila. Kung ano ang isinubtract mo sa left side, yun din po yung isusubtract mo sa right side of the equation. Another property of equality is the multiplication property of equality. So, dito naman po, again, kung anong multiply mo sa left side, yun din yung multiply mo sa right side of the equation. So, here we have, if A is equals to B and C is equals to D, then AC is equals to BD. So, if we assume that, oh, for example, D naman, D is equals to 4. So, magkakaroon pa rin tayo ng C is equals to D, which is 4 is equals to 4. So, yung A is equals to B natin, multiply natin by 4. So, pag nag-multiply tayo ng 4 kay A, mag-multiply din tayo ng 4 kay B. So, that's multiplication property of equality. And, ang kanya naman pong kabaligtaran ay ang division property of equality. As long as the divisor is not equal to 0, pwede po natin yang magamit. So, for example, meron tayong C is equals to 5 and meron tayong A is equals to B. So, magkakaroon tayo ng A divided by 5 is equals to B divided by 5. So, division property of equality. Kung anong i-divide mo sa left side, yun din po yung ipang divide natin sa right side. Then, we have the substitution property of equality. Ayan, malinaw naman po ang ibig sabihin ng substitution. Kagaya na itong mga ginagawa natin kanina, nagbigay tayo ng value ng D, nagbigay tayo ng value ng C. So, substitution po yan. Ano po and then inilagay natin siya in replacement to D, in replacement to C so that substitution property of equality. Then the last one is the zero product property. So when we say zero product, kailan ba nagiging zero ang product natin? Kapag meron tayong nag-iisang zero or pareho silang zero. If A, B is equals to zero, then A is equals to zero or B is equals to zero or pareho silang zero. So self-explanatory naman tong zero product property. So those are the properties of equality and also the properties of real number. Now let's apply these properties of real numbers and equality in geometry. In this activity, we're going to determine the property of each statement that shows. Alamin natin kung anong property nga ba ang ginamit. Is it property of real numbers alin doon? Or is it property of equality alin nga kaya doon sa property na yun? You can pause this video and then you can write your answer on your notebook. Then I will give you the answer to each item. Number 1. If AB is equals to CD and EF is equals to GH, then AB plus EF is equals to CD plus GH. So, yung mga measurements daw ng line segments na yan ay equal. Line segment AB equals sa line segment CD. Line segment EF equals daw sa line segment GH. And then, if we add AB and EF, equals lang daw siya sa CD and GH. So, ano nga bang property yung meron tayong addition on both sides of the equation? It's no other than addition property. Number 2, if AB is equals to CD, then CD is equals to AB. Ano nga kayang property ito? Line segment AB equal daw siya sa CD. And then, yung CD equal din lang naman daw sa AB. Kung baga mayroon tayong line segment 1 equal sa line segment 2, equal din lang si line segment 2 kay line segment 1. And then, pinag-interchange lang yung position nila. So, anong property of equality po yun? That is, K, correct, symmetric property. Number 3, if measure angle 1 is equal to measure angle 2 and measure angle 3 is equal to measure angle 4, then measure angle 1 minus measure angle 3 is equal to measure angle 2 minus measure angle 4. So here on our third item, 
meron tayong subtraction on both sides of the equation and yung isinubtract naman po ay equal according to our if statement. Measure angle 3 ay equal sa measure angle 4. So, pwede natin talaga siyang ipang subtract on both sides of the equation. So, what property of equality is this? So, this is the subtraction property of equality or subtraction property. Okay, let's proceed to our item number 4. If measure angle A is equal to measure angle B plus 45 degrees and measure angle B is equal to 60 degrees, then measure angle A is equal to 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So, si measure angle B daw ay equal sa 60 degrees at dito sa ating naging conclusion, si measure angle B ay naging 60 degrees na nga. So, ito yung madalas natin ginagamit. What property is this? So, may value na si measure angle B, ipinalit dito sa ating symbol na measure angle B. So, nag-substitute tayo and that is substitution property of equality. Okay? For the last item, we have here, if line segment AB is equal to line segment CD and line segment EF is equal to measure line segment GH, then measure line segment AB multiply to measure line segment EF is equal to the product of measure line segment CD and line segment GH. So, may multiplication na naganap and yung i-multiply kay AB and CD ay equal din lang naman po si EF at si GH ay equal. So, for number 5, we have multiplication property of equality. Okay? So, now you know how to determine the property that each statement shows. Let's proceed to another activity. Use the given property to draw or make a conclusion. First, we have the reflexive property. If AB is real number, then... So, ano kaya ang pwede natin maging conclusion kung ang ating property na given ay reflexive property? So, pag sinabing reflexive property, it is always equals to itself. So, ang given natin dito is measurement of line segment AB. Then, so kung reflexive yan, measure line segment AB is equals to measure line segment AB. So, AB is equals to AB lang po. Reflexive property. Okay? Another, we have symmetric property. So, pag sinabi naman pong symmetric property, what will be the conclusion? If measure angle A is equal to measure angle D, then, so, dalawa yung involved symmetric, magkamukha pa rin sila kahit magkapalit sila. So, meron lang tayo ditong measure angle D is equal to measure angle A. So, we're going to interchange the position lang po and equal pa rin naman talaga sila. Okay? Next, transitive property. So, tatlo na yung involved dito. If line segment AB is equal to line segment CD and line segment CD is equal to line segment EF, then, so again, tatlo yung involved pero ang ipagko-connect natin or bibigyan natin ng relation ay si AB at si EF gamit si CD, transitive property. So, ang magiging conclusion natin ay AB is equal to EF. Line segment AB is equal to line segment EF. Okay? Next. So, we have your division property. Ayan. Magdi-divide naman tayo. If 2 AB or 2 multiply to the measurement of line segment AB is equals to 8, ano kaya ang measurement ng isang AB lamang? So, 1 AB. What will be the measurement? So, kapag dalawa daw na AB, 8 siya. Pero pag isa lang, syempre, para ma-eliminate natin yung 2 na kasama ni line segment AB, we have to divide both sides by 2. So, kaya po, magkakaroon tayo ng measure line segment AB is equals to 4. Gumamit po tayo ng division property of equality. So, hindi man siya pinakita dito, we all know that, ano nangyari doon? 2AB divided by 2 is equals to 8 divided by 2. So, ito po yung naging result. AB is equals to 4. Okay? Division property of equality. Another one is the multiplication property of equality. So, meron naman tayo ditong one-third. One-third of measure angle A is equals to 4. So, paano natin malalaman ang one whole? Or paano natin ma-eliminate yung ating fraction? So, ang gagawin naman natin, kabalik din ng division, magmumultiply naman po tayo. Ano yung multiply natin? Yung reciprocal ng one-third. At ang reciprocal ng one-third ay 3. So, multiply both sides by 3. So, 4 times 3 is 12. Kaya po, measure angle A is equals to 12. To show you what happened there, so mayroon tayong one-third of measure angle A. So, multiply both sides by 3. So, we have 4 times 3. So, dito, makakancel. Magiging 1 
times measure angle A na lang siya, and then also 4 times 3 is equals to 12. So, that's what happened here in multiplication property of equality. So, we multiply 3 on both sides of the equation. And last but not the least, again, another reflexive property. Ito po ay napakasimple lamang, reflexive. Pag sinabi reflexive, ang involved lang dyan ay ang sarili niya. So, if measure angle 1 is real number, then... So, masasabi natin na si measure angle 1 ay equal sa kanyang sarili. So, measure angle 1 is equal to measure angle 1. That is reflexive property. Okay? So, that's all for this video. Again, these are all about properties of real numbers and equality in relation to geometry. I-recall natin ito ngayon dahil ilan sa mga ito ay kailangan natin matandaan, lalong-lalo na kapag nagbibigay tayo ng reasons in some of the geometric problem na kailangan natin i-prove. Okay? So, again, what are the different properties of real numbers? They are commutative property, associative property, and the distributive property. And then, for the properties of equalities naman, so, meron tayong reflexive property, symmetric property, we have the transitive property, then yung may operations na addition property, subtraction property, multiplication property, division property, and then followed by the substitution property and the zero product property. Okay? So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Huwag niyong kalimutang i-like, i-share, at mag-comment kung ano pa ang mga katanungan about this topic. At huwag na rin kalimutang mag-subscribe para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang videos. Okay? Bye-bye. Keep safe, everyone. God bless.